Hey guys, so I just wanted to come on here with a little bit of an update. I know I haven't made a video in a while, and I know my lighting is absolutely horrible because the sun is reflecting off my pasty ass face, and it's the only light that I have. I just wanted to touch base on a couple things. My maceration process video series I started, I want to talk about that a little bit. Um, I wanted to talk about an addition to my skull collection and a painful loss that I had to my skull collection recently. And I also have a couple beauty lip balm lotion products that I've been going crazy over that I wanted to talk about. First of all, my video series on macerating and processing your own bones and skulls. I started that video, it was a long time ago, I think it was the end of summer last year or the beginning of fall. And we actually got hit with really cold weather way too early and the skulls that I started processing in that video actually ended up freezing. I didn't actually end up recording the process because I didn't think that they were gonna thaw in time but like here's one of them my if my camera would focus. This one was the fox. My plan for that is now that it's finally getting warm again it's been in like the 70s 60s here recently I'm gonna start a new... I'm gonna start over. I don't know if I'm gonna delete the last video that I made because it's kind of a helpful video for people starting out, but um, I'm gonna try to restart it as soon as I get a couple new pieces to work with. Now on to my skull collection. Um, I guess I'll start out with my loss I had. My wonderful dog decided to eat my beaver skull so this is what's left of him he's in pieces but my new addition to my collection actually I'm graduating from college in May which is like six weeks from now I think is the day that I graduate and I got myself a graduation present it is missing a few teeth Missing a couple in the front there, one very back molar, but he's got a full set on the bottom. And he's got all his hardware on there. And these little springs that hold his jaw on actually just come unhooked if you wanted to take the bottom jaw off. But yeah, this is the first um, human anything that I've had in my collection. But yeah, also I had a couple... Um, beauty products that I wanted to talk about that I've been totally obsessed with lately. Thanks. But yeah, I wanted to talk about these fruit-shaped lotions and lip balms that I've been totally obsessed with lately. I just picked up these. The uh, Tony Moly Banana Lip Balm and Lotion. I'm just like a huge sucker for cute packaging, but they smell amazing too and they actually really work well. But I thought these were adorable. And I also have the, I've had these for a while, I've had this a little while longer, the uh, peach lotion and lip balm. And it looks like a little butt, it's cute. But um, the lotion is great and it smells exactly like peaches. It's really good. It's super sweet. And the lip balm smells exactly the same. But, I think when you actually put it on your lips, it tastes a little bit soapy, which is kind of gross. I also have the cherry tomato, which is super adorable that there is a tomato lip balm. I guess it kind of smells like when you cut open a fresh tomato. Dog. Oh, wait. Are we done? Okay. But, um... I thought this one was super cute, and I know that Tony Molly has a cherry and a blueberry. I think that's the only two I don't have. I don't know. But they're $10 a piece, and every time that I go to a store that has them to get them, I end up finding other things that are super cute, and then I can't justify spending all that money. So I just end up not getting them, and I need to do it because I need to complete my collection of fruit-shaped products. I've also noticed recently here that I have a million lip balms shaped like foxes. They're super cute. I have more than two, but they're in my 
black hole of lip balm and if I open it and just find them I'm gonna find a million other things that I haven't seen and it's gonna be a disaster. And I have a couple big projects left. I have a couple research papers that I'm gonna have to turn in before graduation but I might have a little more free time now so I have a couple more makeup-y lip balm-y things that I want to talk about and I also have a couple more wet specimens that I've done that I've added to my collection. I can talk about those. So uh yeah, I guess if you have any questions, go ahead and uh, leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. But yeah, I just have a bunch of stuff that I want to make videos about. So yeah, that'll be fun. But, um, alright, well, thank you for watching and uh, see you in my next video. Bye!